So today, you guys, we're going to be talking about set it and forget it, why habits matter. And But first, I just want to say welcome. If there is anybody here watching or watching on the replay or whatever, uh, my name is Lita, and I'm not a doctor, but I'm just super passionate about keto and all things that make us healthy. So please don't take anything that I say as being medical advice. It's just, we're just having a conversation here. So I just want to put that out there. Okay, you guys, I'm going to ask you, who said I'm not a fan of popcorn? Hold on, I just saw that. <laughs> Bonnie, I just saw that. Fortunately, I've never been a fan of popcorn. I am envious. And many people in the group are envious because a lot of popcorn fans in our group. Anyway, okay, I'm going to ask you guys some questions. And I'm going to ask if you could pop in here what your answers are. And I'll go back and read them as I get a little bit further along. But when you're thinking about doing something that you know you really, really want to do in order to help you progress in your health, or maybe with your work or business, personal life, whatever it is, it's like you've got this goal and this thing you want to do. And so when you're thinking about the things that you need in order to be successful, do you ever find yourself relying on your energy to get those things done? Or the need to feel like you got to feel motivated that day, or you just, you know, you're just feeling it that day, and then you do it. Um, or and do you find like, sometimes it's tiring and overwhelming, like just thinking about all these things that you should do, you know what I mean, the tip checklist in your mind of the things that you should do. And then does it kind of weigh you down a little bit? Like if you say, for example, if you said to yourself, every day, I'm going to walk, and then when you don't get in the walk and then like you feel bad because you didn't get the walk in, like that kind of a thing. Do you rely on having to have a feeling in order to do it? And the reason why I ask is because that's where habits make such a difference. This is something that I'm really, really working on. And I'm finding that it is making things so much easier for me when I make these habits and it takes a while for it to become a habit, right? Let's face it, just because you say, oh, every day at this time I'm going to walk or whatever, doesn't mean like <clears throat> you're always going to do it and it's always going to be easy. It takes time, which is why our 21-day consistency challenge is 21 days because they say it takes 21 days to make a new habit. That's why I made it 21 days. Anyway, do you guys find any of these things? Let me know if you feel like this because I have to admit that I'm one of those people that... I'm a real emotional person and I'm a real feeling person. So if I am excited about something, you will not find another person that would be more excited. Like, come on, let's go. Like, I'm just in it, right? I'm in it and I'm excited and I can do it. And when I have that feeling, nothing's going to stop me. Nothing. But if I'm not feeling that feeling, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if I'm relying on that, in order for me to do the things that are going to make me successful, it's a 50-50 shot of whether or not I'm actually going to get that thing done that day. So that's where the habits come in. That's where creating healthy habits really makes a difference. Creating good habits make it easy to make good choices. It takes the emotion out of it. It takes the energy out of it. It takes the thought out of it when we create these habits for ourselves. And we'll get into how to do it in a little bit. I just wanted to read some of the points I had here. We gain freedom when we have habits in place. And that was a misconception that I had. Um, I kind of thought like, if you have habits, it's sort of boring, monotonous. You don't have a lot of freedom because you're so structured. The truth is, when you actually set things up to be a habit, you gain a lot of freedom. It's amazing how much freedom you gain because you're, it's it's a bit of a system. You just follow the system and it saves a ton of time. And I'll go into some examples in a minute. Creating good habits takes the emotion out of what we need to do. So even if we're not feeling totally into it, it kind of takes that part of it out. Uh, creating good habits saves us time. I mentioned that. And creating good habits pushes us in the direction of our goals. 
So it's really easy to not be heading in the right direction if we don't have these habits in place, if we're just kind of relying on how we feel that day. Yeah, hopefully I'll get that done. You know, it may not happen. Oh, I totally forgot to show you my mug today. I'm feeling a little cheeky. That's my mug. I'm not going to say it. I'm sure most of you guys know what that means. If you have young people in your life, you probably do. Mm hmm. I thought it was cute. It's a nice little thermos kind of mug. It actually has a little stir thing in it. And please don't ask me where I got it because I'm pretty sure I picked it up in the States or something a long time ago. But it has this little, oh, do I don't have the lid. Hopefully it doesn't spill on me. Let's see if you can hear this. Can you hear that? That's actually for fatty coffee. It's got, it's got like a little whirly thing on the bottom and it actually mixes it up for you. So if it settles a little bit, it like froths it up. I should, I should be like manufacturing this. I, I, I looked into it one time, couldn't find anything in the States. Anyway, I'm going to go back and read a little bit what you guys are saying and then I'll move on. Um, let's see here. Carmen says, wow, I have pork rinds with pick pink Himalayan salt. Not bad. Yeah, that's probably the closest that we're going to come, right? That's probably it. Carmen says, my hair is growing like mad and super shiny. I also have another collagen testimony. My skin looks so great and less visible lines. I saw a huge difference from when mine had finished and I started up again. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm, I've noticed that too. I really do. Because I mean, there's, there has been periods of time where maybe I'm really busy with vacation or whatever and I haven't had it so much and I'm going, oh, I'm starting to notice a little bit. And as soon as I get back on within like a week, I notice a difference with my fine lines around there. I mean, it's actually quite amazing. Carmen says, I need to rely on a schedule to get my exercise in. If I get caught up doing something else and it passes, then I skip it because I get caught up doing something else. Exactly. Exactly. That's, that's exactly what I mean. And then when you're not feeling it, it's so easy to not do that. My sister Lori says, I get all excited about the plan. <laughs> We're so much alike, especially the day before and the first day. Then it's almost like the excitement is gone. I lose my motivation. I think my motivator is the excitement. I know, right? I, I think my my excitement is getting the plan organized. Have it all written out. I got it all set up. Da, da, da. And then when it comes time to actually do it, it's kind of like, oh, I'm not really feeling like it today. Okay, that's sort of not the point. We should be just doing it anyways because that's the plan. I know. That's why we have to take the emotion out of it. We have to take all that out and just say, this is our system. We are doing the system. And we'll talk about how we're going to make that work in our 21 day challenge. Annette says, I am list and habit motivated. I've been, you probably like the stars, right? You like to get the little tick marks or the stars. I've been consistent in tracking macros and keeping the movement in. So far, I'm continually, uh, continuously losing weight and only had two weeks since January when I started that I either gained or stayed the same. Fantastic. Consistency pays off. Like I, I say over and over again, there is absolutely no judgment if you go off your plan. There's no judgment. I had popcorn last night. There's no judgment. The only thing about it is that when we're not consistent, we're just not going to see the changes that we want. It, that's the fact. I mean, my sister and I both have sons that have been consistent since January and both of them are like pretty much at goal. They have lost so much weight and they have really stayed consistent. And that's something that uh, I could really work on. That's for sure. Uh, relying on a whim doesn't work. Exactly. Relying on our emotions, it really doesn't work. Annette says, even on the days I may go over on the macros, but it keeps me accountable. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So I want to tell you about this book that I'm reading because it's really on the topic and it's just really, because I kept on thinking to myself, why am I having such a hard time doing the things that I know, like in my mind, I see myself exercising, like I'm not kidding you, like I actually see myself doing these exercises, I see all these amazing exercises on TikTok, and I have them all organized on my phone, and I sort of see myself doing it, and then when the day, I'm into my day, and I'm working, I'm doing all this stuff, and I just don't do it. My husband, every single day, pretty much every single day at four o'clock, he goes for a big, long power walk. I mean, a very big one. And he does that as a stress relief, but he also has it as a habit. 
right? He, he, this is his habit every day. He doesn't feel like it. He doesn't, but he says to himself, this is what I'm doing at this time. Now I know for me, if I don't do something, if there's something that I kind of really don't want to do, I have to do it early in the morning. And I think a lot of people can feel the same way. You just kind of want to get it over with. Anyways, when I was kind of mulling over, why do I do the things that I do? How come I don't always feel motivated? How do I get myself to feel motivated? And I realized motivation is, and, and the emotions are actually the problem. I found out about this book. And this book is really, really good. And it's not, obviously, it's nothing to do with keto. It's nothing to do with like health, but it encompasses everything in your life. And you guys might like it. I'm going to hold it up here in case you want to see it. And I'll put the link in at the end after I'm done. And I heard somebody on TikTok talking about this. And after I heard them talking about it, I looked it up on Amazon and started reading through the, you know, the foreword or whatever, the beginning part of the book. And I really, really liked what he had to say. And he doesn't just talk about, you know, why it's so important to have habits. He talks about the reason why we do the things that we do and the reason why we don't do the things that we know that we should do. What's the best way to set up the habits and what is the best way to break um, bad habits. Now, I wish I could give you all the Coles notes version and tell you what to do, but sadly, I'm only a quarter way in, <laughs> so I can't. But I am going to read you this one part here that I bookmarked it. He says, habits do not restrict freedom. They create it. In fact, the people who don't have their habits handled are often the ones with the least amount of freedom and probably the least amount of time. If you're always being forced to make decisions about simple tasks, such as when should I work out? What should I eat? When do I pay the bills? Then you have less time for freedom. And it makes so much sense. Like I can say in my life, when I've kind of make a, made a schedule for myself, because admittedly, I don't love tracking macros, but I know it makes me the most successful. When I set up a plan to sort of eat the same thing kind of every day, like for example, I was just talking about the anti-aging drink. I want to get that drink in every single day. So my sort of favorite routine is I have a fatty coffee for breakfast. I have my anti-aging shake for lunch. And then I have a fatty coffee right after my shake as sort of part of my lunch. That's like a goat. That's like my every day. It's in my tracker. I copy it from day to day. It's in my tracker. The only thing I have to come up with is my dinner. It's pretty easy to figure out what your dinner is, right? I'm not having to figure out every day a new breakfast, every day a new lunch, every day a new dinner and track all that stuff. I just know I'm not going to do it. So this for me, this is a real win win because I'm getting in what I know I want to get in my healthy fats, I want to get in my anti-aging, I want to get all my collagen in. And so I get all that done. And then I just have to worry about dinner. And then it's kind of fun, right, coming up with a good dinner. So that's an example of what I do to keep my thing, my day easy. And that's a habit that I have gotten into. That's one habit that I have, I have to work on the exercise thing, but I definitely have that part worked out pretty good. Karenza, I'm really proud of myself for setting small, consistent goals to build down to a strong 21-day goal for the challenge. That's awesome. Karenza has, admittedly, she has gone off and she is working her way back into a really good place so that when we start our 21-day consistency challenge, which, by the way, in case anybody is wondering what we're talking about here, it's starting on, what is it, September the 7th? I don't have my calendar right here, but I'm pretty sure it's the seventh. And all the information is in the announcements tab in the group. So if you want to find out about our challenge, definitely go in there and find out about that. But that's great, Karenza. You're getting yourself totally ready So because your goal is when the 21-day consistency challenge starts, you want to do it 21 days of consistency, right? So she's building herself up to that, which is awesome. Okay. So what else was I going to tell you guys? Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. What good habits could we create to help us on our health journey? Let's be specific with our health journeys here. Okay. So for, I'm going to give you some examples. I'm going to read here. Uh, work out when you know you're not going to jam out. See, that's mine right there. And, um, and maybe giving yourself a little carrot. I know Amy in the group gave me this tip and she said, cause I was talking about how I have a hard time getting the exercise in if I'm not feeling motivated. And she said, well, how about you don't get to have your fatty coffee until you've exercised? And I'm like, Hey, that makes sense. So 
that's what I'm gearing myself towards. I mean, I'm definitely going to do it in the consistency challenge, but I'm gearing myself towards as soon as I wake up, I got my exercise clothes sitting right there. I'm going to get in them right away. I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to get my workout in before I come back up and have my morning fatty coffee. So it's like, that's the cue I'm giving to myself. And he talks about that in the book about how you set yourself up with cues. But I'm not allowed to have my morning fatty coffee until I've had that workout. It's my reward, basically. And I think that that is going to really work. I've done it a couple of times and it definitely worked, but I didn't get it into a habit. I didn't do it enough to make it a habit. Okay, what are some other things? Um, having the same thing for breakfast and lunch, like I was just telling you, and then having, you know, a different dinner. Um do, 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 do. entering things into your um, macro tracker the day before. I know a lot of people have that habit in the group and it works really good for them. They plan it the day before, they get it all in there. So when the next day comes, they're not going, oh, I don't know what I'm going to eat or I don't know what the macros are. It's already done. So it's just, it's very easy to follow because it's already set up for you. Batch cooking whenever you can like we talked about in the group too many times, if you're making food and you're making, you know, I'll just say like spaghetti sauce or whatever, make extras, make extras, measure it out, put a piece of masking tape on the top and put what the macros are for that. So that another time when you're kind of in a hurry, you can pull that out and say, look, I've already got this done and it's already mapped out for me. These are habits that will save so much time down the road. So let's talk about our 21 day consistency challenge, because that's why if you look back on the last three, I don't have them written down here, but the last three topics we've talked about in the last three weeks, those are really, that, that's the foundation of what we're going to be doing in the 21 day consistency challenge. We need, some of us have gone off the, our game and some of us haven't, but if you can do anything for 21 days, it really, really sets the tone and it really gets you into a really good place. If you have been struggling if you have been off your game, game, if you can make this promise to yourself to do this for 21 days, you're going to feel so different at the end of the 21 days. The problem that a lot of us have with, um, oh gosh, I get this haircut, um, the one and dones and letting ourselves have a little free pass or whatever, which is totally fine. The problem is though, when we do it too often, it's really easy for us to always, always just say, oh, okay, well, I can get back on tomorrow. And, and again, no judgment on that whatsoever. But I'm saying like, if you're really wanting to get back in the groove and you can say to yourself, I don't understand. I used to, I used to be so strict and now I just can't get it together. Why can't I get it together for more than a couple of days or whatever? This is it right now. I'm going to tell you right now, if you can commit to 21 days of consistency. And, and let me just say, and you'll read this if you read my post in the announcements of how this is gonna go. I'm not telling you exactly what to do. I'm not telling you what to eat every day. I'm not telling you how many macros to have. I'm not telling you whether you should fast or not fast. I'm not saying any of that. I'm not telling you how much water to drink. We're gonna be talking about all these things. It's just fun things during the challenge. But I want you to do you. I want you to do what wherever it is that you're at. Meet yourself where you are at. If you've been way off and just cutting out the worst offenders is, is what you want to do to be consistent, then do that. Maybe the first week you do that. Maybe the second week you start tracking macros. Maybe the third week you start fasting. You do whatever works for you, but you know what is right for you and what is not right for you. So when I say consistency, I mean, obviously we're not going to be eating junk food. Okay. That's an obvious one, but what other things do you want to do besides trying to eat the right way? Do you want to try to get in some exercise? Do you want to drink more water? Do you want to read a little bit every day? Like, are there certain things that you've been kind of wanting to do, but you just can't get into the habit? This 21 day consistency challenge will be amazing for that. And you make a promise to yourself and you say, these are the things that I'm going to do. I'm going to write out my plan. You have a full group of people supporting you. Everyone's going to have an accountability partner. So if you don't know about that, please read in about the challenge so you understand how this is going to go. And with your accountability partner, you guys, we're going to check in with each other as a group and with our accountability partners every single day for 21 days. And we are going to build these really good habits 
So hopefully at the end of the 21 days, we're going to be in such a, such a good um, path that we're just going to keep on going with it. And here's the thing, when you're doing really good and you're feeling really, really good on your game, it's okay to step off and just have your one and done because you're in such a good zone that you literally will do it just for that tiny little bit and then boom, you'll be right back on it. But for some of us who have been kind of off our game for a little while, we don't just kind of one off and then come right back on. A lot of us are kind of like staying off and whatever. So that's why we need these 21 days to just get us in the zone again. Okay, I'm going to go back. Carmen says 21 days. Yes. Sean. Oh, me, me, me from Iowa. I'm late. Yay, Sean, you're here. That's awesome. Carmen, I'm prepping, bought stevia water and coffee drops. Uh, I bought Palmini. Oh, right on. Okay. Well, if you can perfect that Palmini stuff, let me know. I don't know if I did it right. I think, I think it should be boiled maybe. Um, I, I think I just heated it and then it was kind of hard. So I think I, I think I did it wrong, but I would love to revisit that again because I have a couple cans in my cupboard. So I'd love to know. So you can let me know. Sean, I'm going full force, 21 day strict. I know I can and water, water, water because it helps so much. Yes, it does. It does. And you know what? I think it can be difficult for us on our own to say, that's it. Starting now, I'm going to be super strict. Starting now. <laughs> And then what happens? First time social thing comes up or whatever, it's so easy to just say, oh, okay, well, you know what? Okay, I'll start after that. Oh, there's a thing this weekend. I'll start after that. Oh, there's a long weekend thing. Okay, I'll start after that. It's so easy to do that. But when you commit yourself to a challenge, we're all doing it together. You have your accountability partner. It's go time. It's go time. We're doing it for 21 days and we are not going to veer off from that. After the 21 days, you can decide if you want to do a little one and done or whatever, but we are dedicating ourselves to these 21 days. And honestly, I am so excited to feel that energy again. It has been a while since I have felt that unbelievable energy. And you guys know what I'm talking about. When you are really got those ketones going and you're eating clean, healthy foods and you're drinking lots of water and you're moving your body, it's like, no. I mean, come on, we just feel invincible, right? I'm so excited for that. So excited. I'm so excited for you guys too. Uh, Sean, I like shirataki better. Yeah, you know what? And the shirataki noodles, they can taste a little rubbery, admittedly, but at least they're not hard. And so those that's my go-to. I usually go to those ones. But I would love to know if someone can tell me a better way to do the palmini. Palmini? Is that what that palmini? Yeah, well, whatever those noodles are, I would love to know. Bonnie, do we have to have a partner? I have no idea to partner with. Bonnie, you do not have to have a partner. But if you would like to have a partner, I encourage you to have a partner because I kind of want this to be like, we're going to be doing some things in the group where you're going to be tagging your partner, we're going to do some like little games and things like that. And I think it's going to be really fun. And so it's super easy, Bonnie, just go into announcements find the, it says official post. So you'll see the official post for this 21 day consistency challenge and, and read through what I say. And then what you do is you comment in there and you say, I'm looking for an accountability partner and somebody will message you and say, and sometimes what happens is I'll see that someone said they're looking for a partner and then someone else is looking for a partner. So then I'll tag the two people together and say, Hey, what do you, what do you think? This is a really neat way to get to know somebody in the group that maybe you don't know very well. You know, it's a great way for us to, to make friends. It's always nice to have more people that we know so that when we're tagging people and commenting and doing things in the group, it's just more fun. Um, but you absolutely don't have to. I don't want you to feel like you have to. If, if anyone feels uncomfortable with that thought, you do not have to. Nobody is excluded from this challenge. I'm just encouraging you to do it because it'll probably help you to be more successful. You know, you might be having kind of a down day and you're talking to your accountability partner and they say something, and you go, wow, you just, you really brighten my day up. Thank you so much. And that just, you know, helps you to do a little bit better that day. You know, I think it's, it's gonna be really fun. Tammy said, very excited for this challenge. I fell off the cliff. Tammy, you ain't the only one. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots. You're in very good company, Tammy. There is many of us that have fallen off the cliff. So we're all in it together. Trust me. There's many of us that are there. Uh, Annette, 
We've used the palmini in lasagna. It's worked great. Oh, lasagna, that's a good way to do it. Yeah, maybe just a little bit more baking. So I think I just heated it up in a pot or something. Uh, Sean, can we get more than one partner? I'll help. Um, so what I said in the post, Sean, was I was kind of hoping that would pe people would just be twosies. And the reason why I say that is because if we start getting groups of people, all of a sudden now you got messenger groups of four people, five people, whatever. And first of all, we want those conversations hopefully to be also in our group so that everybody can benefit. But second and most important is that I don't want this to be too taxing on anybody. So if you have, say, a messenger group and you've got four people and those four people are all checking in and then you're trying to help this person, blah, 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 it all of a sudden kind of becomes a little bit of a job. If you have your one person and say, and you guys decide how you want to do it, but for me, it'd probably be a morning check-in and I'll, hey, how's it going today? What's your plan today? The, my partner, Lisa, will say, I'll say, we'll chat a little bit. Okay, good. We're good. And unless there's something that comes up in the day, that's kind of it. And I really don't want this to become overwhelming for anyone. I don't want it to be too taxing. We're all busy. Um, we don't want a zillion messages or whatever, but I'm not going to stop you. You do what you want. But the intention was that you would have one partner. And I also think that this is going to be really fun and we're going to want to do this challenge more frequently. And when we do, we might want to switch up our partners and every time have a different partner and get to know somebody different, possibly. We'll talk about it and see what everybody thinks. Uh, Lori, my sister says, I love September for fresh starts and I really need to prove to myself that I can be consistent again. Yes, exactly. September is such a great time um, to get back on the game. And exactly what Lori said was proving to yourself that you can be consistent again. And I think that's, that's huge. That's light bulb right there, Lori, because I think that's part of it too, is that when we've gone off so many times, we've kind of lost confidence in ourselves. There's a little part of us that's like, well, I used to be really strict, but now I can't seem to be able to do it. And this is going to prove to ourselves that we can do it. We're all totally capable of doing it. We just need to say we're going to do it and put that line in the sand and do it. Absolutely no backsies. Sean sounds good. Just don't want anyone left out. If they can't find one, I've got a strength. <laughs> don't worry, Sean. No one's going to be left out. I go through that list all the time and I look to see if there's anybody looking or need or whatever. No one's going to be left out. Don't you worry. Um, if worse came to worse, yes, somebody could tag on to somebody else's, but don't worry. Uh, Corinza, I used to be a keto poster. Co I used to be a keto poster person and now I gained 20 pounds. Yeah, I mean, Corenza, honestly, I totally get it. Um, I've gained lots of people in the group have gained. It's been a tough year. It's been it's been a stressful year. And even if that wasn't all going on, there's lots of times people go off and gain. Uh, it's very, very common. But the thing is, we know what to do. We remember how great we felt. And we're going to do it again. And when we're consistent, and we start feeling that amazing energy, we're going to be set to go. We're just going to be set. I'm just like, so excited to feel it. Do you know what I mean? Just feel it. Just feel it. Um, that feeling of, I don't know if you guys ever had this, but there was a time I was so in the zone and absolute, absolutely not kidding you. Someone could plunk down a Krispy Kreme donut, and they are my favorite, a Krispy Kreme donut right in front of me, and I was so in the zone, it was not even a thought. It was, ah. didn't even want it. Didn't even, didn't, wouldn't even, not because I was trying to be so good, because I truly didn't want it. It was like, why would I want to eat that sugar-filled piece of crap? It's going to make me feel awful and I'm going to get bloated. Blah, blah. Why would I want to? But like when you're in this zone, you're not really feeling your best. It's so easy to be like, yeah, I haven't been so good anyway. So, you know, that kind of a thing. Uh, da, 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 da. I met her partner today. That's awesome. Bonnie. I was very consistent with exercise before COVID. No desire to go to the gym anymore. Loved my yoga too. Yeah. So here's the thing. You were saying that you loved it then. And I'm, and I'm hoping that you will get to that point that you will love it again. But let's say that you know in your mind that you really want to get back into yoga or whatever exercise. But you're not feeling it. You're not feeling that. That's where creating the habits 
make such a difference. And I'm sorry, I'm not giving you a little bit more practical tips on exactly how, because I haven't got to that part of the book, but I just loved what he's saying about creating the habits. Like basically you have to make your mind up. What is it that I want to create? What are the habits that I feel are going to improve my life? Make that plan and say, that's it. I'm just doing it. So like I said, for me, I'm going to put my clothes out the night before. So when I get up in the morning, my workout clothes, they're all ready for me. I'm going to get that workout in because I know I don't get my precious fatty coffee until I get that workout in. That is the carrot at the end of the stick. That is the thing that is going to make me do it. So however you need to do that until you get to love it, you know, I mean, I'm hoping that someday I will love it too. And I would love to just do it just because I love it. That's never happened to me so far with exercise. It's happened to me with lots of other things, but it hasn't happened to me with exercise. So for me, I definitely need to make a habit, but you might've actually loved it so much that, you know, you would do it anyways. Bonnie, me too. But this week I have to make my car drive away from the bakery instead of do it. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I know. Right. And it, and it kind of depends on where we're at. Like if we're, if our, um, glucose is too high in our body and then we're our blood sugar is too high and then it's just so easy for us to feel those cravings and it's just uh it's a vicious circle um i totally i totally get that that's why i feel like for me i have to be very strict for a set period of time in order for it to become easy because if i'm not strict enough it's just it's just way too many cravings are in there and then i'm just really not able to say no i have admitted to you guys i do have a carb addiction as lots of people do but and i also have a binge eating addiction like once i start getting in on those chips or whatever um i can't stop myself it's a really hard thing so i have to get myself into that really strict zone so i can really lower that blood sugar right and feel that energy and then it's easy to make the good decisions is what I'm trying to say. Body says they never taste as good as you remember them tasting anyway. Yeah, right. That's exactly what I said about the popcorn last night. <laughs> wasn't quite as good as I as I remember it being. It was good, but it wasn't as good. Anyway, sorry, I don't want to trigger anybody with that. Anywho, guys, that is what I wanted to chat about today. So this is the kind of thing that we are definitely be going to we are going to be talking about more in our 21 day consistency challenge. I'm so excited. It sounds like everybody in here is going to be in it. Is there anybody in here watching right now that is not going to be doing the challenge or didn't know about the challenge? I'd like to see what you guys say. Kathy, are you still here? I don't know if Kathy's still here. Annette said she is. Deborah, I don't know if you're still here or not. Let me know if you guys are in. I know everybody else I think is in. It's going to be great. It's going to be totally great. So anyways, if you guys are listening and you don't know about it, just make sure you go to announcements because I have all the information in there. If you're looking for an accountability partner, just comment in there saying you're looking for one and we will find you one. Not a problem. Kathy's in. Yay. All right. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, you guys, it's great chatting. And uh, we were, we're going to be talking about a lot more of this kind of stuff during the challenge. We're going to, my sister's totally in. Awesome. We're going to be talking about the habits that we can create. We're going to be obviously talking about consistency and then all the usual things, all the really awesome habits and the different things that we do to create those habits. So that will be part of our consistency challenge. So can't wait to see you guys there. And thanks so much for coming tonight. And I will talk to you in the group. Okay. Good night, you guys. Hey guys, before you go, hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the bell notification so you can be notified every time we have a new video posted. Also down in the description, I will have links to everything that we talked about in our chat today, including information on how you can join my Intentionally Bear Keto Support Group. See you next time.